Hi everyone! If you are new, welcome. If you've watched my videos before, thank you so much for coming back. For this video, I am ready to upgrade my lighting and have finally decided on the turbo upgrade system from Steve's LEDs. I felt slightly overwhelmed reading and watching the online instructions, so I went straight to YouTube but still couldn't find an all-encompassing tutorial, which is why I wanted to share this entire experience with you. If you have any questions throughout the video, please leave them in the comment section and I will do my absolute best to answer them. My order arrived on time and in good condition. Everything was packaged well and surrounded by packing peanuts for added protection. This was everything I unpacked from the box. The instructions recommend testing your LEDs before you begin the installation process. This makes perfect sense, but was initially very confusing due to a lack of instruction on how to attach everything together and actually turn it on. We eventually figured it out after looking through the Hurricane X controller instructions and after thoroughly looking over all of the pieces. To take off the hood, you will need to remove the three pins securing it in place. Firmly grip both sides of the pin and pull the two pieces apart. If this is too difficult, you can even wedge a flathead screwdriver between the hinge and the head of the pin to help separate them. Removing the splash guard and stock lighting was very straightforward. It was a total of 12 screws, 10 securing the splash guard and 2 securing the stock lights. I do recommend purchasing the additional installation toolkit. It was less than $10 and included the wire cutters needed for this step, as well as a wire saw that comes in very useful when modifying the fan vents in the next step. Use the supplied drill bit alignment guide to accurately mark the location of the half inch hole for your wires to pass through. Because of the angle, you will need to be very cautious to avoid drilling right through the top of your hood. Using wire cutters, carefully cut away the rest of the plastic until you're left with a perfectly sized gap for the wires to pass through. Modification to the fan vents are necessary if you purchase the iridescence booster upgrade. These run hotter than regular LEDs and the instructions warn that if you choose not to modify the fan vents, you risk damage to your splash guard. Use the wire saw and carefully cut through each end of the plastic piece you are trying to remove. When we went to cut the other end, the friction caused the plastic to heat up and melt. The plastic quickly hardened around the wire, embedding it in the groove. With the wire saw now completely embedded, we used a drill to loosen the plastic areas around it and were finally able to get it out. The stock fan is attached by two screws which are easily removed. To prevent the wire from getting stuck on the next fan vent, we decided to make drill holes on either side to decrease the amount of plastic that the wire will need to saw through. The hood did not have the finished look I was hoping for, and the edges were very sharp. I used a file to smooth out the rough edges and to make it a bit more visually pleasing. The instructions do not reuse the stock fan, but I don't really see a reason for leaving it off, especially since it still fits nicely under the splash guard.
carefully move the LEDs to their new location. Next, feed the wires through the grommet. Make sure you clean off any salt residue before reattaching the splash guard. Once clean, reattach it using the 10 screws you removed earlier. Remove the black cap from the syringe, as well as the clear piece inside. Then attach the blunt tip needle. Liberally apply the sealant around the entire grommet, making sure you fully seal the opening. In Canada, the standard is 120 volts. You can easily select the voltage using a flathead screwdriver. Partially unscrew the four corners to easily remove the protective cover. Thank <laughs> you. 